Hi guys. I don't know who needs to hear this, but Halloween is not canceled this year. Well, I mean, there are parts of it that are canceled, yes, uh, but the holiday as a whole is not canceled. You can still celebrate, okay? I am still going to celebrate. It is a fun holiday and it is not, it is not over for me. <laughs> I, I am coming up with ways to do virtual ha Halloween events. Uh, one of the things I'm thinking of doing is doing like a a uh, group murder mystery party or like a virtual escape room or something in, in a Zoom call. I, I don't know how well that's gonna be or how fun that's gonna be, but it's something I'm considering doing. Cause yeah, Halloween's on a Saturday this year and it deserves some celebration. So Spirit, Spirit Halloween is the Halloween store here in the US that uh, is a seasonal store that opens. And even this year in the time of COVID, Spirit Halloween is still running, still operational, and there are stores that are open. And I don't know if you guys know this, but there's also Dungeons & Dragons Halloween merchandise this year. So they're, they're selling costumes, but also like random merchandise for Dungeons & Dragons. I, I, I don't fully understand why. I guess that means that Dungeons & Dragons has hit peak mainstream. It's like, you know when something you like is mainstream, when uh, there's costumes at the generic Halloween store for it. So Dungeons and Dragons, we've hit that level, guys. We've hit that level. Uh, so I actually ordered quite a few months ago. Uh, I saw online that they were uh, making these Dungeons and Dragons costuming stuff. And I ordered some of the things and I've yet to actually try them on. I've had them for quite a while. Um, I ordered them online and, and actually Spirit sent me the completely wrong costume. They sent me a female NASA costume. So that was a whole disaster. I had to send it back and they had to send me the new costume anyway. They have costumes of my favorite heroes of Dungeons and Dragons, Dritz Dorden and Caddy Bree. <laughs> Yay! I did not order the Dritz costume because it just looks so bad. I just couldn't order it. But uh, they also have his two scimitars, Twinkle and Icing Death. Then they have uh, Caddy Bree's costume, which I did end up ordering. Her bow, Heartseeker, also known as Tal Maril in the books. Uh, they also were selling a prop version of that. So I went ahead and bought all of it. So I haven't like taken them out of the packaging yet, even though I've had them for like a month. I wanted to like actually make a video about this. Uh, so here are the two scimitars, Twinkle and Icing Death. They are foam, obviously. Uh, I'm they do look pretty good for foam swords. I'm a member of a Dritz Doord in Facebook group, and I've seen a lot of people actually go ahead and buy these and hang them and mount them on their wall. And it actually looks pretty good for some foam swords. I was shocked. I was like, man, you could probably <laughs> hang from far away. I mean, if you look up close, like you could tell that it's fake, but from far away, if you hung up these swords <laughs> or mounted them on your wall, they, they would actually look somewhat decorative. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to hang these on my wall. Um, I already have two, I have two Dritz portraits on the back here. Um, and it would be cool if I could like put them with the, uh, you know, hang the, the, the swords underneath the portraits or something just to, you know, show off the, the cool scimitars. His two scimitars! Oh my goodness! This is actually really cool. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Dual wielding blades of Dritz de Warden. I'm very happy. I'm a happy nerd. I, I have way too many toy prop uh, blades nowadays, and it's getting to be out of hand. <laughs> I can use these, like, in RP in our actual D&D &D sessions or something. Next up, we have Heartseeker or Taumaril. This is Caddy Bree's bow, Taumaril. Um, that is an elven bow, which is even more cool, uh, that Caddy Bree wields in the Dritz de Warden books. For those of you who don't know, uh, Dritz de Warden um, is a character made by R.A. Salvatore, uh, he is a very prolific writer in uh, the D&D universe. He's written over 30 books for the Forgotten Realms lore and universe. Uh, and his main character that he's created is Dritz, who is a drow ranger uh, hero 
um, from the Underdark, escaped the Underdark, made a ton of friends, um, and Caddy Bree is somebody who... I just dropped it. Oh, my gosh. Caddy Bree is a very close companion of Drift's, is what I was trying to say. Um, they get very, very close. Ow. Ow! Okay. We've taken it out. I... You know, I play a ranger in D&D, so I figured this would be appropriate for when I do play a ranger, but I am not proficient in bow and arrow IRL. I am not proficient. <laughs> I want to pretend I am, but I'm really not. So this, oh my gosh, this is so... <laughs> oh, this is, this is uh, pretty... I'm gonna have to, you know, practice my poses with my... With my bow and arrow. All right, we're gonna we're gonna like actually model this thing a little bit. Uh, it's hard to do sitting at my desk, and also I'm just a plebeian. It's yeah, it's plastic. You can hear the plastic. It, it's pretty cheap, but it's fun. I'm going to have so much fun at my D and D table once we all can play D and D in person again. I'm gonna bust out this bow and arrow. So now we have the costume itself, the Caddy Bree costume. I am still in shock that they even made this costume. I know that Dritz is a popular character, but I never thought he'd be popular enough and, and Caddy Bree would be popular enough to warrant making commercialized costumes. I, I just never thought I'd see the day, but here we are from Spirit. Uh, I'm gonna try it on. Again, I don't expect this to be a very high quality costume. I'm kind of just doing it for fun. It's for funsies, uh, but let's let's go ahead and, and try this thing on and see how it looks all together. And we'll uh, get the quiver. Oh my gosh, this is just like a jumpsuit. Oh God, all right, I'm gonna try this thing on and let's see how it looks with uh, Heartseeker as well. So before we jump into the Caddy Bree costume, I figured I'd give a closer look at Dritz's two scimitars. So first we have Twinkle, which is the blade that he wields in his left hand. It was given to him by a powerful wizard, and it actually has a uh, blue sapphire in the edge of the sword that glows with a blue light that wields a lot of arcane power. Uh, and then Icing Death, which is the blade that he wields in his right hand that he got after fighting a very powerful dragon. I've seen various artwork online of these two scimitars. Um, I don't know how absolutely accurate these two are to how the blades actually are, but I think they actually look pretty cool in this costume form. Now onto Caddy Bree's bow, Talbaril, and Quiver. The quiver didn't exactly sit right on my left shoulder, even though I'm technically a righty. So I ended up laying it on my right shoulder, which isn't necessarily accurate for an archer, but whatever guys, it's a costume. The fabled heart seeker. This enchanted bow is accompanied by a quiver of silver arrows that streak to their target, leaving a trail of blinding light behind them. When the arrow strikes its target, a shower of multicolored sparks burst forth, and all but the most powerful foes are instantly destroyed. It's as though Talmaril fires lightning, not arrows. The bow once hung in a chamber honoring the dwarves of the first age of Mithril Hall. Its accompanying quiver never runs out of arrows. In the hands of an accomplished archer as Caddy Bree, this is a deadly weapon indeed. I am such a huge fan of the Dritz Doerda novels by Ari Salvatore. Uh, I just love Dritz so much. I even have my own little onyx statue of Guinevar, and uh, I have a lot of Dritz memorabilia. I'm just a really big fan, so being able to dress up as Caddy Bree, who is somebody very near and dear to Dritz's heart, it just makes me a very happy nerd. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. If you did, be sure to, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe, uh, and let me know in the comments if you're also a fan of the Dritz novels, because I love meeting fellow fans. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!